Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video, we're going to learn all about the color picker in Photoshop Elements. The color picker is used mostly for changing the foreground color. The foreground color is located at the bottom of the toolbox. There are two big squares down there. There's this one on top, which is the foreground color. And the one underneath it, this white one, is the background color. The foreground color determines a couple different things. One, it determines what color your brushes are going to use to paint with, and it also determines what color the paint bucket tool will use to fill selections and layers with. The default color for the foreground color is black but you can change it using the color picker. To do that, you just click on it and the color picker window comes up. So I'm going to click once on the foreground color and now you can see the color picker. There's a lot in the color picker window and in this video I want to explain what some of that stuff is. First of all, I want to tell you that despite how complicated this window looks, you only need to focus on two things to choose a new color and that is the multicolored bar which is called the vertical color slider and this big square area right here which is just called the color field Let's say you wanted to choose a green color for your foreground color. You could click and drag the color slider down to the green area. So if I just click and drag, you could go down there until you get in the green area. Or another way is you can just actually click in the area that you want to choose. And that gets you into the green shades. And then you can fine tune it by going over into the color field with your cursor and dragging around and until you see a color that you like. And notice this rectangular box over here. The bottom half, which is black, shows what color the foreground color was when you opened the color picker, and the top half shows the current color that you have selected. If you would click OK at this point, the top color would be the new foreground color. So those two areas, the vertical color slider and the color field, are all you need to use to change your foreground color. But I want to explain what the other parts of the color picker box are so that it no longer seems mysterious and scary when you use it. First I want to show you a couple of things that I consider obsolete and that you can ignore. One is this checkbox down here, way at the bottom that says only web colors and the others are this color cube right here and the color square below it. The reason I feel that these are obsolete is that they were put in there when web browsers were much less sophisticated than they are today. Back then a web browser like Netscape could only actually display 216 different colors accurately. So when you click on this box, the color field will only display those colors that were considered safe for display on the web. When I click on that, you'll notice that the color field has less colors to choose from. And these other two items are related to that. If you hover your cursor over the color cube, it will warn you that it's not a web safe color. And if you hover over the color square below it, it tells you that you can click it to get a web safe color and it'll select the closest web safe color to that color to the color you currently have selected. Today web browsers are pretty good at displaying most colors so I totally ignore these three items in the color picker. Now all that's left are these groups of color numbers. This first group is HSB, it's these three right here and that stands for Hue, Saturation, and Brightness. And 
and it's a way of describing the color that you have chosen. The hue is the general color range like red, blue, or yellow, and it's what you chose with the vertical color slider. Saturation is the purity of the color and how much white is in it, and it changes when you move left or right in the color field. And brightness, of course, is how light or dark a color is, and is changed in the color picker by moving your cursor up or down in the color field. The next set of numbers is also a group of three values. They are RGB, which stands for red, green, and blue. And those fields show how much of each of those colors are in the color you have chosen. And the bottom field, down here, is called the hexadecimal hexadecimal color code. It's the code that web browsers use to display colors. So now you know that to change the foreground color using the color picker can be a simple two-step process of first choosing your hue from the vertical color slider and then narrowing it down by sliding around in the color field. So now if you would click on OK, the color that you see in, the, in that new box right up here, let me click OK, you can now see is your new foreground color. And you now know what all the other stuff is inside of the color picker. Congratulations, you have mastered the color picker. Until next time, this is Rick saying take care.